ground. Only 15 sites, I think. And it's not full here. And we're just walking across the beach, dropped the van off, walked across. Having a look at the beach straight away before we set up. Because why not? Too windy, a little bit swelly, a little bit windy, but we're gonna jump on the chance to have a quick snorkel here. Um, snorkeling is pretty close to the beach, just have to walk up over the dunes. So, we'll show you what it's like here to have a snorkel. That watercolour gets you every time. I've just um, made some pancake mixture for a treat for morning tea slash lunch. Just made a general mix, flour, self-raising flour, milk, um, sugar, and egg. And I've invented something else. I'm sure I haven't invented it, but I've invented it for the first time for us. So, bit of mix in, bit of mix. What is that, my so What's that? chocolate, dairy milk, chocolate, and then cover it up with some more mix. Mm -hmm. 
on top and then cook until bubbly Sit. and it melts into delicious goodness Mm. Chocolate melted inside. Watch this. Watch. <laughs> I'm easily pleased. <laughs> Good night, daughter. Good night, daughter. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, that's us done here at Jen's camp. And that's the end of an igloo for us. Um, we are heading to Carnarvon. Oof, flies are annoying this morning. Um, to continue further south. Um, a little bit about Jen's camp. So it's on the Warra Station. Um, run through National Parks. Your normal online booking and your normal prices. I think it's like eight bucks an adult or something like that. Um, and all of the sites are really small, um, lots of different, I'm oh, sorry, all the sites are really big in a small area because there's only like 15 of them, um, but they're massive sites and they're all protected by um, like the dunes and stuff around. However, the wind has been bad in the afternoons, mornings have been perfect and the afternoons it's been windy and it still gets in here, but gosh, I couldn't imagine being on the beach uh, for those afternoons uh, that we've been in here. So um, yeah, so it is a bit protected. Um, the snorkeling here isn't as good as South of Roy or any of those northern kind of areas. Um, however, if the conditions are right, the further you go out, the better it is. Um, and it's definitely worth a snorkel if you are here and then explore. Um, we found most of the bigger bombies to be uh, full of life, um, which you would have seen. Um, but yeah, you just kind of have to go and explore different spots. Um, if there's anything else, let me know. Um, dog friendly here as well which is awesome and it's all bring everything take everything have to be self-contained including toilet um, and yeah anyway on to Carnarvon finally going to Woolworths for I don't know how long I think it's been like six weeks eight weeks it's probably closer to eight weeks since we've been to an actual like proper like shopping center shopping like grocery store <laughs> um, yeah we've got washing to do we've got mice to find in our van and clean out after um, that's probably the one thing. There is mice here as well. So, yeah. Grossy, grossy, gross. Uh, snakes are here as well. Um, but yeah, that's what we're up to today. Just all the chores. Alright, before we go anywhere today, we've got to get up this steep hill, don't we, Daniel? Sure. Alright, it's, it's reasonably firm sand, but it is steep and it is windy. Let's see how we go. Yeah. Low range. range. Low range, yeah. Yeah, low range and hopefully we'll just crawl on up. like second gear low range just crawled it up um, no dramas no problems no loose traction nothing it's not that bad 
can like wear it very long too. I did scrape my bush, I think. Hopefully no damage. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty good view up here too. Breakfast in Carnarvon? Well, yeah. Quickish. Quickish, what is it? Uh, well, I don't even know where we are. Some little cafe next to the surf shop. Yeah. Some basic pancakes? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, our morning in Carnarvon this morning, and we are just doing the one night washing all those things, groceries, etc. And then we are heading along the Fruit Loop Trail, um, which is in the plantations. We've stopped in at a couple of little shops so far and picked up a few little fresh bits and bobs. And then we've come to the Cactus Farm, which is a little bit further along. Now the Cactus Farm is really cool. Definitely worth a stop. Donation in the red tin. And I'll come and check out the whale bones as well. It's really cool here actually. So yeah, put this one on your list while you're in Cadarvan. Alrighty, we have arrived at Laura Mail Station again. So this is our second visit here. We absolutely loved it last time, so we um, wanted to make sure we came back. And they have actually finally opened, if you watched our first episode, um, their cafe um, bar area. And so on Monday nights, they do a cook-up um, beef and salad type meal that you can pay $25 an adult for. So we are doing that because it's a Monday night. We planned that well to come here for that. So that is where we are off to tonight. There's also fire pit and live music to go. So it's just such a great vibe. Let's go over and have a look. We must bubble. The nice thing. Yeah, the warm. It's so relaxing. Yeah. Even though it's warm outside, it's nice to come into the warm pools, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But and it also gets hotter the deeper you go. Does it? Yeah. Interesting. But at the surface, it's really a tiny bit hot. But when you're at the bottom, it's it's burning hot like a volcano. I don't know about that, but sure. <laughs> Feeling relaxed? Yep.
So we drove for about an hour and a half today and we arrived at Hamlin Station, which is in your Shark Bay um, area. So we haven't stayed here before, we were heading this way because we are head on our way to Steep Point. So we're going to camp up the night here and then venture in the truck out to Steep Point. However, today is kind of a chores day and we'll head out and have a look around a little bit um, around the area. But first chore is to sort out this mice catastrophe from South of Roy. So we have spent the last, um, what is it, about five nights I think it was, trapping, trapping, trapping and trapping some more. Uh, to get these mice out of our van. One night we trapped six in just a matter of a couple of hours um, and every night from then I think it's been maybe two or so in the van. Um, we think we've got them all out. Um, the main area that they were was in the kitchen, in the um, cupboard under the sink um, and those sort of cupboards there which they couldn't really get into anything other than our rubbish bin. Um, and under the bunk, we have no idea how they got in there. Um, but there was like our backup food, like coffee, um, drinks, backup, kind of our backup area of like dry goods. Um, and under our bed, the one got under our bed, which is the one that ran across my head a few nights ago and I managed to get under the bed, but we got him out pretty quick. Um, anyway, so we're doing the bottom under the bunk right now because that is where they were the most and that's where the food that they could get into was. This is the aftermath. So you can see they've made, we've made a mess after they've made a mess. Um, but they managed to have quite the range of food groups under here. So they got into our, um, they chewed our paper towel. So I don't know what they got out of that. They chewed um, the bottom of one of our UHT faux um, stocks. They chewed the bottom of a um, long life milk. So they had their dairy. They had some plastic in some plastic bags. They had some cardboard from the box of, um, a few random boxes um, and oh they also managed to chew a hole where is it here? This will do. in a water bottle we had back up a couple of bottles of water under there as well and they chewed a hole in one of those so they had their water supplies too so they were sorted they sorted themselves out nicely under there um, and because they chewed UHT milk milk went everywhere so we are cleaning up not only mice poop and coffee beans we're cleaning up off milk as well which is just amazing brilliant love and life eh? best part of my week <laughs> anywho we are going to investigate and see if we can figure out how they got in there as well while we're at it um but yeah it's a pretty big disgusting mess at the moment aria's got her job she's rinsing all of the cans off because they got all milk all over them too <laughs> Where are we? What are we in? A sheep farm. Yeah, but we're in the sh what? shearing shed. The shearing shed, yeah. We're having a look. What have you learnt so far? Um, they bring in the sheep off the ranch, mm -hmm. they toss the sheep to the shearing people, mm -hmm. and then they um, shear the wool off them, and then they chuck them to the tables. Shall we go and show them? Yeah. Where do they shear? Where did they shear? They sheared here. Yep. And they sheared them off, yep. Yep. And then what happened? They, they chucked the wool onto the table. Cool. And what happened to the sheep? After they, they were wool woolless. Where'd they go? Where'd the wool sheep go? Through these holes here yep. and then they went out to the paddock. Out in the yard there, yeah. 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 And that's where they got some medicine or something yeah. once they got out there, hey. Yeah. Cool. And they also um, kept the wool on the table there as special. Yeah, it was the last last bit of wool that was shorn here. Yeah. Yeah. So they've kept it as something special. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. They cannot take, not steal. Not and, touch. And not touch. Yeah. Because we want to look at it because it's special. Good job. Good learning. Learned about the shearing of Australia. 
in the Hamlin Pool Cheering Hamlin Station Cheering Shed. Hey guys, this is Jade from Applicate. Hi. She's the mastermind behind our awesome sand free towels that we um, love and use every day almost. Um, we actually camped up here together. Surprisingly, it was kind of organized, but not. <laughs> like we wanted to try and meet up, but um, we didn't really know when and where. But anyway, we've managed to organize it. Um, and she has got some presents for me. A new design. <gasps> Look at these. I'm so excited to actually see these in person. Um, so there's, I don't know what, like eight different designs, new designs? 19. Not, oh my gosh, <laughs> 19 different designs. I'm not carrying 19 too. Um and they are awesome quality just like the originals um, with a few little altered changes I guess which is including the bag that comes in it's a little bit bigger so it's a little bit easier to store them in which is awesome show me what else you've got so that's part uh, of that matching set beautiful love it love it and then this one is part of our night lights collection nice so it's really fun really bright love them look at the colors they're awesome they're so bright and just beautiful. Yeah, I'm and excited. As part of the new range, we also introduced kids' design. <laughs> there's more, but wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, look at that! Isn't that cute? So obviously these ones are targeted for. These Aria. are for Aria. <laughs> <laughs> They're just as beautiful and soft and same awesome quality. Cool. Love them. But you've also got some boys kind of targeted. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Designs. Sharks well, so. and crocodiles. Nice. Awesome. Ah! <laughs> There's so many. Cool. Um, so, if you don't know about Applicate, uh, we've been working together for about a year um, and we absolutely love them and we love working with another small Aussie business um, as well, which um, is you guys. So yeah, thank you. Thank thanks you for your working. support. Yeah, thanks for working with us. <laughs> They're doing an end of summer sale happening now on their website. So they've, clear it, they've got a store-wide sale happening but you guys because you follow us um, and you're special to us you get to get an extra 10% off as well so if you use the code overland 10 I'll pop it in the, the description and here um, you'll get an extra 10% off the store-wide sale as well so now is the time to jump on and uh, grab yourself some awesome sand free towels anything else you need to, we need yes. to let them know <laughs> so free shipping over a hundred dollars anywhere um, in Australia awesome cool cheers cheers oh, my bad <laughs> Yum.